grito y este man es malo. Llega, llega. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Good evening. ¿Cómo es eso que me habían confundido que decían que ya terminaba el nivel, que no sé qué? Good evening, teacher. Hi. Ok, bienvenidos todos. Una vez más. Good evening, estamos. teacher. Good evening, hi. Es que como no tiraron nada ahora de salveques al grupo, por eso es que estábamos pensando que no habían clases. <risa> Siempre nos están presionando ahí que conectes a las la 19 y hoy no hubo nada. Pero ahí, ahí estamos ya. Ah, ahí pero estamos siempre. Sí, siempre son buenos los recordatorios. <risa> pero bueno, vamos, iniciamos entonces. Solamente regálenme un espacito acá para proyectar la pantalla. Ok, estamos. All right. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Arles Ernesto López. Good evening, teacher. Presente. Good evening. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera Ramírez. Good evening, teacher. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Santos. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Presente. Thank you. David Antonio Rosales García. Presente, David. teacher. Ok, thank you. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Ever Enrique Gallegos. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Ever Francis Alvallero. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Ah, y, teacher, recordando ahí que Franklin Ayala. Me comunicó que iba a estar ahí en un lugar donde no había señal uh -huh. y solo con teléfono. Así es que si no la responde, pero él va a estar pendiente ahí de la clase. Ok, perfecto. Lo busco acá, pero creo que todavía no se ha conectado. Pero gracias por la información. Herbert Aristides Oya Ruiz. Presente, teacher. Estaré de mi personal, así que no tengo la cámara abierta. Ok, thank you. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Presente. Thank you. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Presente teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Presente, 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 teacher, presente. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Juan Francisco. Ahí. Ok, thank you. Ok, uh, Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Presente, teacher. Thank you. María Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. María de Lourdes. Good evening, teacher. I am Good here. Good evening. Okay, welcome. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivet Merino. Oscar Susana Castellano. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique. 
Hernández Vázquez. Lo veo conectado, pero no me contesta. Hi. Ok. Uh, Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Present teacher. Thank you. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Okay, I'm calling those who didn't answer before. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. No. Mónica Ivette Merino. Ok, comenzamos entonces. Llamaremos a los tres que no me han contestado al final de clase. Ok, everybody, welcome once again. This is Inglés Principiante, módulo 2, and that's me, Iván Doñán, at your service, and this is session number 9. Today is June the 5th of 2023, so what are we going to do? Carlos Edgardo dice presente. Ok, thank you. Okay, so let's begin. Lesson objective, this is unit four or section four. Llegamos a la sección cuatro, ok. Vamos a cubrir esa esta semana y la siguiente semana. Vamos a la sección número cinco y el final test, verdad. So by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You will also learn how to express the food that you like and dislike. Um, Sorry. Al finalizar esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario relacionado con la pirámide alimenticia. Ustedes también aprenderán cómo expresar la comida que les gusta y la que no les gusta. So, take a look. This is the food pyramid. Okay. I'm going to zoom in. Vamos a acercarlo un poco. Now, look at this. This is the vocabulary. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. So you have it here. Aquí está lo principal. The grains, okay? What do we have in this category? In the grains category, we have bread. That's the first one, bread, okay? There is cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, and in general, pasta. Okay, so that's the first part. Those are the grains. The bread, the cereals, crackers, crackers, galletas, más que todo las que no tienen sabor, crackers, rice, noodles, and pasta. Okay, so let's practice the vocabulary right there. You can repeat it uh, where you are. Puedes repetir ahí donde se encuentra con el micrófono apagado. Okay, repeat after me. Bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. In the second category, you have this. This is the fruit. Be careful with the pronunciation. Tengan cuidado con la pronunciación. Right? You write it like this, but the I is silent. You don't pronounce the I. So you say fruit and not frit. Okay? The pronunciation is fruit. Okay? So careful with that. So in the fruit, we have bananas. Okay? It's the first one. We also have oranges. There are strawberries apples, mangoes, those are the ones. Okay, please repeat after me. Bananas, oranges, strawberries, apples, mangoes. And in the vegetables category, we have broccoli, tomatoes, carrots, lettuce, and potatoes. Okay, repeat after me. 
broccoli, tomatoes, carrots, lettuce, potatoes. Now, in the next step, you have meat and other protein. Here you have fish, beans, chicken, nuts, eggs, beef. Okay, you can repeat. Fish, beans, chicken, nuts, eggs, beef. In the dairy category, lactose, okay, you have milk, yogurt, and cheese. You can repeat where you are. Milk, milk, yogurt, yogurt, cheese, cheese. And finally, you have fat, oil, and sugar. So what do we have here? We have cream, butter, oil, potato chips, candy. Repeat after me. Cream, butter, oil, potato chips, candy. Monica Ivet dice que ya está por acá. Thank you. OK. Vamos a ver los participantes. OK. All right, so uh, that's the food pyramid right there. OK, you have grains, fruit, vegetables, meat and other protein, dairy products, fat, fat, oil and sugar. So what are you going to do? I'm going to give you two minutes. Voy a dar dos minutos. I'm going to give you two minutes. What foods do you like? What foods don't you like? Make a list, then tell a partner. Okay? You can say, I like rice, potato chips, and carrots. I don't like fish, cheese, and bananas. Okay? You say, I like. So this is what I want you to do. Quiero que me haga una lista. Okay? I like and write the foods that you like. I don't like. Write the foods you don't like. Escriban la, li la una lista de comidas que les gustan y comidas que no les gustan. Okay, I'm going to give you two minutes and after that you're going to share with the class. Okay, les doy dos minutos, luego vamos a compartir con la clase, de acuerdo. Two minutes, let's begin.
Okay, time is up. Now I need volunteers. I want you to tell me, what do you like? What don't you like? Pueden comenzar así, verdad? I like rice, I like potato chips, and I like carrots. I don't like fish, cheese, or bananas. Cecia. Hi. Hi. I like cream, butter, candy, potato chips, fish, bean, chicken, beef, egg. Everything. Okay. Egg, meal, cheese, yogurt, bananas, apples. Orange, strawberries, mangoes, broccoli, carrot, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, bread, fries, noodles, and pasta. Okay. I Is don't there... like uh -huh, uh -huh. crackers, cereals, nuts, oil. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. That's a very long list. Uh, Enrique, Enrique Perez Lemos. Let's do it. For me, I like fish. Uh, uh, orange, oranges, mm -hmm. orange, mangoes, and uh, uh, apple. ¿Cómo se dice manzana? Apples. 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 Uh, I don't like cream. 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 Candy. Cheesy. Okay. You say I don't like cream. ¿Qué más? Candy. Candy. Cheesy. Cheese and, or cheese. Cheese. Don't you like cheese? Ah, oh, really? <laughs> for me, for me, no. Okay. So, no cheese pupusa for you? No? No I pizza? Don't. No pizza for you? No pizza. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> I love cheese. I really, really like cheese. Okay. Thank you, Enrique. Monica Ivet. I like fish, beef. I like fish, fish, beef, beans, mm -hmm. eggs, meal, yeah. yogurt, eh, mangoes, mangoes. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo es? Mangoes. Mangoes. Mm -hmm. Mangoes, orange. Eh, Oranges. I, I don't like... Potato, potato, potato chips, mm -hmm. candy, mm -hmm. pasta, eh, carro, carrots, carrots, carrots. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Thanks for your participation. Well, let's do this. Okay, we have our lesson objective now. By the end of this class, you will learn what count and non-count nouns are. That is countable and uncountable nouns. Additionally, you will learn how to use the expression some and any, okay? Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán sobre los sustantivos contables y los no contables. Adicionalmente, ustedes aprenderán a usar las expresiones alguno, alguno, algunos, algunas. Y ninguno, 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 ninguna. So, let's begin. You have that. So, there's a conversation. That's the first part, okay? There's a conversation. How about some sandwiches? ¿Qué tal unos sándwiches? How about some sandwiches? So there's listening practice, but I don't have the track, so I need two volunteers to help me read this. Please, volunteers, two volunteers. One man, one woman. Okay, Jose Amilcar. Okay, now we need a lady, please. A lady who wants to participate, Cecia. Okay, let's begin. Jose Amilcar, you're Adam, and Cecia, you are Amanda. Okay, teacher. What do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drink? No, we need some. All right, let's get some. Lemonade. 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 And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, Adam says, what do you want for the picnic? They are planning a picnic. 
Okay, so what do you want from the picnic? Amanda says, hmm, how about some sandwiches? That's the first thing. We have the question, how about? Okay, this is like when you say, ¿Qué tal? Pero no le está preguntando cómo está, ¿verdad? Sino más bien, ¿Qué tal? Para hacer una sugerencia. In other words. Okay. Wow. Okay, just a moment. That's how you say, how about, you made a suggestion. So you say, how about some sandwiches? Adam says, okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator. You can see it here, there's the chicken. Also pronunciation, you say refrigerator. That's the pronunciation, refrigerator. But we don't have any bread. No tenemos pan. Wow, sorry about that. Okay, we don't have any bread. You can see there, no bread. Amanda says, and we don't have any cheese. If you see in the refrigerator, there's no cheese. Okay. Adam says, do we have any drinks? It's a question. Do we have any drinks? And Amanda says, no, we need some. Necesitamos unas. Adam says, all right. Let's get some lemonade, okay? Vamos a conseguir o comprar limonada. And let's buy some potato salad, okay? Compremos ensalada de papa. Let's buy some potato salad. And Adam says, sure. Everyone likes potato salad. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Tienen alguna pregunta o duda acerca del vocabulario? No, teacher. No questions. Okay. If teacher. that's the case, yes. Teacher. Yes. Eh, esta palabra, lo, eh, ¿cómo se pronuncia lo que dijo ahí el señor Reyes? Donde dice Adam, all right, let's go some lemonade. Let's get lemonade. some lemonade. Lemonade, thank lemonade. you. Okay. Lemonade, okay. The thank pronunciation. You. Lemonade. Okay, lemonade, la limonada, right? Let's get some lemonades. Compremos o consigamos limonadas. Okay, so there you go. Some more vocabulary for you is here. You have a fruit salad. Okay, that's a salad, fruit salad in this case. They have a cake. Okay, everybody likes cake. And there's a pie. Two different things, okay? This is a cake, this is a pie. Okay. Okay, vieron American Pie, conocen la diferencia. Okay, cookies, all right? Cookies. And finally, ice cream. There you go. So that's the part. Conversation, how about some sandwiches? And here's the grammar focus. Some and any count and non-count nouns. How does this work? Look, do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some, or let's get some eggs. You say, no, we don't need any eggs, or we don't need any. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some, or let's get some bread. No, we don't need any, or we don't need any bread. Then you have count nouns or countable nouns. You say, for example, an egg or eggs. A sandwich, sandwiches. Non-count nouns or uncountable nouns include bread and lemonade. Then specific, you say, I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General, eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. Como siempre, la información que aparece acá es como bastante condensada. Entonces tenemos que expandirlo un poco para que nos quede más claro. 
vamos a comenzar con este concepto de countdowns and non-countdowns, que se reconoce también como countable and uncountable nouns. Everybody, pay close attention to this. De que se me olvide, lo voy a pasar. Is the group. Is the group. Así que todos. Ok. Ok, everybody, take a look. Countable, sorry, countable and uncountable nouns. Here. So, a noun can be countable or uncountable. What is the meaning? Countable nouns include a car, a man, bottle, a house, key, an idea, an accident. These are countable nouns. ¿Por qué son countable? Easy. Look at this. You say, for example, one bottle. Now you say two bottles. Now you say three men. And now you have four houses. Okay. Countable nouns can be singular, one, or plural. ¿Qué son los countable nouns? Son aquellos sustantivos que usted puede contar. Si usted le puede asignar un número, entonces es countable. Y si el sustantivo tiene una forma en plural, también es countable. Very important. Now look, countable nouns can be singular, only one, or plural, two or more. Okay, for example, you say a car, that's singular. Dog car, that's also singular. My car, it's singular, etc. Plural includes cars, two cars, the cars, some cars, many cars, etc. And you have three examples right here. You say, I have a car. Car is a countable noun. You can count it. You say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can count the cars. So car cars are countable. N second example, new cars are very expensive. Los autos nuevos son muy caros, right? New cars are very expensive. And then you have there aren't many cars in the parking lot. ¿Se acuerdan que vimos there is, there are? Para expresar la existencia de las cosas. There aren't many cars in the parking lot. No hay muchos autos en el parqueo. There aren't many cars in the parking lot. Now, do you understand the concept? Countable nouns, you can count them. Se pueden contar. That's the key. Okay? So, like in this case, you can say one bottle or two bottles, three bottles, 50 bottles, 100 bottles, etc., etc. Okay? Now, this is very important. Esto es bien importante. You can't, no se puede, you can't use the singular alone. For example, car, bottle, key, etc. You need a or an. Se necesita un determiner si usted quiere utilizar un uh, singular noun. For example, we can't get into the house without a key. No podemos entrar en la casa sin una llave, a key, right? You don't say without key. En español si decimos, no podemos entrar a la casa sin llave, o sin llaves, okay? Pero en inglés, un sustantivo singular necesita que usted le coloque un determiner. En este caso es a or n. We can't get into the house without a key. No podemos entrar sin una llave. So that's the first part. Those are the countable and uncountable nouns. But now look at this. Uncountable nouns. What are they? ¿Qué son? For example, you have water, air, rice, salt, plastic, money, music, tennis. All of these are uncountable nouns. Why? 
because you can't count them. Estos no se pueden contar. Usted no puede contar el agua. No puede contar el aire. No puede contar, sí se puede contar el arroz, pero ¿quién lo va a hacer? Ok. No se puede contar el plástico. Me dirán, ¿el dinero se puede contar? Sí y no, ya vamos a ver la diferencia. Ok. Music, usted no puede contar la música. Puede contar canciones, pero no puede contar la música. Tennis, es un juego, no se puede contar tampoco. So, what happens here? You can't say one, two, three, etc. plus these things. No se puede decir one quarter. No puede decir two musics. ¿Por qué? Porque estos sustantivos son incontables. Es decir, no se les puede asignar un número. Adicional, uncountable nouns only have one form. Uncountable nouns don't have a plural form. Desde luego que no se pueden contar, no pueden ser plurales tampoco. El hecho de que fueran plurales indicaría que se pueden contar. No se pueden contar, así que estos sustantivos no tienen forma plural. For example, you say money, the money, some money, much money, etc. Examples, I have some money. There isn't much money in the box. Money is in everything. El dinero no lo es todo. De la misma forma, you can't use, remember, no, you can't use a or n plus uncountable nouns. ¿Por qué no se puede? <coughs> Porque <coughs> a or n mean one. Cuando usted dice a o cuando dice n, significa uno. Ese ya es un número. No se le puede poner un número a un uncountable noun. Así que aquí recuerde, hay dos cosas. Primero, no se pueden contar. Dos, no se les puede poner un número, así que tampoco se les puede poner a or n. Tercero, no tienen forma plural. ¿Ok? You can say a money. No. You don't say a music. Mm -mm. You don't say a water. No. Y entonces, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Water. Music. Money. That's the form. Do you understand the difference between countable and uncountable nouns? ¿Entienden la diferencia entre los countable y los uncountable nouns? Salvador Manrique. En el caso de beber o tomar agua, es, eh, directamente se dice, I drink water. Ajá. Pero drink no es, un, no es un noun, sino que es un verbo. Ahora, water sí es un noun. Uh -huh. Entonces, el agua ah, sí, no, la podemos, no la podemos contar, no la podemos agarrar y decir, aquí tengo un agua. No, no se puede. Son cuantificables de otra forma, pero eso lo vamos a ver después. Ok. So, all right. So, any questions about this? ¿Alguna pregunta, duda? ¿Algo que no les haya quedado muy claro? No questions. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Enrique. Lo del dinero que se puede contar y no se puede ah, contar. <laughs> Ahorita. Okay, so you say money is an uncountable amount. Okay, this is like Spanish. Money means dinero. In Spanish, you don't say, tengo tres dineros, tengo cinco dineros. You don't talk like this. Okay, in Spanish, you cannot use a number with the noun money. It's the same in English. Es lo mismo en inglés. No puede uno decir one money or two monies or three monies. It's not okay. Okay. You cannot say that. However, currencies are countable. Si bien el dinero, en fundamentalmente como un concepto es incontable, 
las monedas sí son contables. Y cuando digo monedas, no me refiero a las monedas físicas, sino las monedas de cada país. In other words, dollars are countable. You say one dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, ten dollars, a million dollars. Dollars are countable. Los colones eran contables, ¿ok? Colones were countable. Los quetzales, ¿ok? They're countable. Pesos, Mexican pesos, are countable. The Canadian dollar, countable. Euros, countable nouns. You can count them. Aquí sí, usted puede decir sin ningún problema. One dollar. Seven dollars. One hundred dollars. That's the difference. De nuevo, la palabra dinero, money, no se puede, es una palabra incontable. Usted puede decir que tiene dinero, pero no que tiene siete dineros. Eso sonaría muy extraño. Y también en inglés, seven monies. Doesn't make sense. Pero cuando usted está hablando de la moneda local, entonces es así se puede contar. Usted puede decir, tengo siete dólares. That is correct. Okay. So be careful with, the, with money. Okay. Money is uncountable. Currencies are countable. Okay. Here we go. Let's continue. Now, this is your turn. Some of these sentences are okay, but some need A or N. Use A or N where necessary. Algunas les falta ese A or N. Usted tiene que indicarme cuáles les falta y cuáles están bien. You have two examples. I say, I don't have watch. I don't have watch. There is a problem here because you say, I don't have a watch, okay? Acuérdense que no se puede utilizar según la regla que vimos acá. You can't use the singular alone. You need A or N. No se puede ocupar el singular de un eh, sustantivo contable, ¿verdad? Solo. Así que hay que utilizarlo con A or N. Lo correcto sería, I don't have a watch. Let's take a look at number two. Do you like cheese? This is okay because cheese is an uncountable noun. El queso es incontable. Para cuantificarlo hay que empezarlo. ¿no? Se lo venden en libras. Medias libras, cuartos de libras. ¿Ok? Pero así nomás no puede decir uno, tengo un queso, dos quesos, tres quesos. No. ¿Ok? So, careful with that. So, what about number three? I never wear hat. Is this correct? Or do you need to change it? Who knows the answer? Cecia. I never wear a hat. I never wear a hat. That's correct. Okay, thank you, Cecia. What about number four? Are you looking for a job? Are you looking for a job? What is that? Wilbur. El job este no es contable porque tendría que ser algo específico, ¿verdad? De hecho, sí, es contable. Ah, entonces, a job. A Are job. you looking for a job? A job, correct. That's a job. Okay. So, what is a job? And what's the difference between a job and work? Okay, two different things. You have the noun job, and then you have the noun work. ¿Qué es job en español? Trabajo. ¿Y qué es work en español? Trabajo también. Entonces, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Job is a countable noun. Work is an uncountable noun. So, what is a job? Todos ustedes tienen una plaza, uy, un empleo eh, con el que cuentan, ¿verdad? Con el cual ganan dinero. Eso es job. You say, I have a job. Some people have two jobs. Some people have three jobs. Muy cansado, pero sucede. Okay. Eso es job. In my case, for example, I have two jobs. During the day, I work for another company. And at night, I work for Inglés Corporativo. 
So I have two jobs. And what is work? Work es el trabajo, pero ya no se refiere al empleo, sino más bien lo que usted tiene que hacer. Eso es work. Es la carga, digámoslo así, ¿verdad? That's work. Y eso no se puede contar. You can say, for example, I have two jobs. This is good. But if you say, I have two works, this is incorrect. Okay. You can say, I have a lot of work. That's different. Okay. That will be correct. Tengo mucho trabajo. ¿verdad? Okay. Okay. Es muy diferente. So, we go with the next one. Okay. Uh, thank you, Wilbur. So, number five. Kate doesn't eat meat. How about this one? Raise your hand if you know. Kate doesn't eat meat. Salvador. They doesn't eat a meat. A meat. What do you think? Is meat a countable noun or an uncountable noun? It's a countable noun. Countable noun. Okay. Let's see. Veamos. Una clave para ver eh, si un noun is countable or uncountable is pensemos cuando lo estamos comprando. La carne, ¿cómo se la venden? ¿Por unidades o se la venden por peso? Por peso. Por, por peso, así es, la venden en libras. La venden en libras porque es la única forma de cuantificarlo. Fuera de eso, no se puede. Uno no dice, por ejemplo, en el súper, me da tres carnes. ¿no? Me da tres libras de carne, tal vez sí. Ok, pero no puede decir tres carnes. ¿Por qué? Porque la carne es incontable. Por lo tanto, ¿cuál sería la forma en este caso? Kate doesn't eat meat. Kate doesn't eat meat. Only that. So this is okay. All right? Kate doesn't eat meat. Cuando hablamos de comida, eso es algo que nos puede ayudar a identificar si es contable o incontable. Lo compramos por unidades, entonces es contable. Lo compramos por el peso, por las libras. Entonces es incontable. Okay, so uh, what about number six? Raise your hand if you know. Kate eats apple every day. Maria de Lourdes. Kate eats an apple every day. Kate eats an apple every day. That's correct. Thank you. Thank you. What about number seven? I'm going to party tonight. I'm going to party tonight. How about this one? Voy a una fiesta esta noche. So I'm going to party tonight. Enrique. Thank you, teacher. Number seven. Mm -hmm. I am going uh, to party uh, tonight. Ah, uh, tonight. Yeah. Um, tonight is not a noun. El problema es que tonight no es un sustantivo. El sustantivo yeah. es party. Ese es el noun. Party. I am going to a party tonight. I am going to a party tonight. Correct. Ok. Las fiestas sí se pueden contar. Era una fiesta, dos fiestas, tres fiestas. Ok. Yeah, you can count party. So, I'm going to a party tonight. Ok, good. Thank you, Enrique. Number eight. Music is wonderful thing. Who knows? Music is wonderful thing. What do we have? Ever Enrique. Music is a wonderful thing. Music okay. is a wonderful, is, is it okay? It's a wonderful thing. So it's not okay. It's, it's a okay. wonderful thing. Uh -huh. 
Ok, hay que hacerle la corrección, por lo tanto no podemos decir que es ok. So, music is a wonderful thing, correct. Ahora, ¿qué pasa acá? Usted me dice, hey, pero music, usted dijo que era uncountable. Sí, pero la palabra thing es countable, ok. Una cosa, dos cosas, tres cosas. One thing, two things, three things, etc. Speaking of which, ok. Hablando de eso, para referirse a las cosas hay dos maneras de decirlo. You can say thing, which is a countable noun, and then there is stuff, which is uncountable noun. Okay. You can say these are my things. Estas son mis cosas. But you can also say this is my stuff. Que sería lo mismo. Solo que things son countable. Y si se fija acá, está, está reflejado en el demonstrative, que es plural. Mientras que stuff es lo mismo, cosas, pero es incontable. Se utiliza con this, que es la forma singular. Ok. Baudilio. Teacher, ¿podría repetir la expresión que dijo hablando de eso? Ah, Speaking of which. Ok, thank you. Sería como hablando de lo cual. Bien, literalmente. Speaking of which. Ok. So, um, let's continue. Number nine. Jamaica is island. Who knows? Jamaica is island. Baudilio. Jamaica is an island. Okay. Jamaica is an island. Okay. It's an island. Speaking of islands, take a look. You have the word. Sorry. Okay. This is the word. Now look. The S is silent. You don't pronounce it. So you say island only. Island. And not Iceland. ¿Por qué? Porque la palabra Iceland existe y es otra cosa. Iceland es un país que conocemos comúnmente como Islandia en español. ¿Qué? Okay, Iceland. So don't confuse, right? La pronunciación de una isla es island, mientras que el país es Iceland. Ok, so be careful right there. So you say an island. Thank you, Baudilio. What about number 10? I don't need key. How about this? I don't need key. Who can tell me? Do you know the answer? Please let me know. Maria Lourdes. I don't need a key. A key. I don't need a key. That's right. Okay, thank you. Very good. What about number 11? Everybody needs food. Everybody needs food. How about this one? Maria Lourdes. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, that's right. This sentence is okay because food is an uncountable noun. La palabra comida en general, así como money, okay, también es incontable. So, everybody needs food. That's okay. Thank you. Vamos, participemos. What about number 12? I have good idea. José Amilcar. I have a good idea. I have a good idea. Correct. Okay, because ideas are countable. Son abstractas. Las ideas no las podemos ver ni las podemos tocar. Y sin embargo, se pueden contar. Una idea, dos ideas, tres ideas. Okay, so you say, I have a good idea. So, idea is a countable noun. It's an abstract countable noun. Number 13. Can you drive car? Baudilio. Can you drive a car? Can you drive a car? That's right. Correct. Those cars are countable. Very good. What about... Um, perdona, se me fue una I de más. 
Okay, number 14. Do you want a cup of coffee? Is this correct or not? Alain Iglesias. Do you? Yes, Alan. Better teacher. Do you want? Fourteen. Do you want a cup a cup of coffee? Do you want a cup of coffee? That is correct. Very good. Okay. ¿Por qué se da esto? No, Porque es que... el café es incontable, pero la taza en la que va servida sí, sí es contable. So, do you want a cup of coffee? Okay. Thank you, Adán. Very good. Uh, María de Lourdes. Do you have a question or do you want to do 15? Mm. 15. Okay, 15. I don't, I don't like coffee without without milk. So, is it okay? It's okay. All right. I don't like coffee without milk. Correct. Okay, this sentence is okay. Coffee and milk are uncountable nouns. Liquids are uncountable. And number 16, don't go out without umbrella. No salga sin paraguas. About this one. Maria de Lourdes. An umbrella. Don't go out without an umbrella. Correct, because umbrellas are countable. Very good. Okay, great. The concept is clear so far. Okay, so great. Now, take a look, countable, countable, and uncountable nouns, okay? So you have a, n, and some. Vamos a aprender a utilizar some. Now look, you use a or n plus singular countable nouns. For example, car, apple, shoe, etc. You can say, I need a new car. Do you want an apple? Car and apple are singular countable nouns. In Spanish, when you say a or n, es uno o una. No es que a es uno y n sea una, sino más bien depende del la, el sonido de la siguiente palabra. Pero a or n, independent, independientemente si es a o si es n, puede ser un o una. Ok. A new car, un auto nuevo. An apple, una manzana. But what about some? It's the same concept, but you use it with plural countable nouns. For example, cars, apples, shoes, etc. So what is the meaning of some? In Spanish, this is like when you say unos or unas. It's the plural form of A and N. Example. I need some new shoes. Necesito unos zapatos nuevos. Unos. Okay, that's plural. I need some new shoes. And do you want some apples? Do you want some apples? ¿Quieres unas manzanas? Do you want some apples? Now look. Esta es la parte donde se vuelve un poquito más confuso. You use some with uncountable nouns too. Se puede utilizar some con uncountable nouns. Okay? Like water, money, music, etc. You can say, for example, I need some water. Ahora, ¿qué pasa acá? Esto puede ser un poco difícil de comprender a primeras porque en español no utilizamos esto. En español usted solo dice, necesito agua. Y no le pone ningún tipo de quantifier, como en este caso, some. Pero en inglés se vuelve necesario, ya sea incontable, el, el sustantivo como contable. Usted dice, I need some water. 
or I want some cheese. Maria de Lourdes. Thank you. Cuando usar entonces solo I need water y cuando usar I need some water no me queda muy claro o sea mm. en qué momento usar cada uno por favor. Podríamos decir por ejemplo I need water si una persona eh, dijéramos alguien eh, está en el suelo tirado en el suelo y parece que se ha desmayado he needs water. Probablemente porque está deshidratado. Estamos diciendo exactamente lo que necesita a un nivel un poquito más técnico, más médico. Pero si lo que quiere usted es una basada de agua, entonces, porque tiene sed, simple y sencillamente, entonces lo más normal sería decir, I need some water. Some indica una cantidad que no es precisa. En efecto, water y cheese son uncountable nouns, así que no es posible dar una cantidad precisa. Por lo menos no, a menos que los pesemos. So, I need some water, I want some cheese. Mm -hmm. That will be the difference. So, remember, you use, which is no, acaba el tiempo, A, N, and some. You use A and N plus singular countable nouns. For example, car, apple, shoe, etc. I need a new car. Do you want an apple? Now you use some with plural countable nouns like cars, apples, shoes. I need some new shoes. And do you want some apples? And you use some plus uncountable nouns like water, money, music, etc. I need some water. I want some cheese. That's the difference, basically. Salvador. En el caso de I need some, some water, sería como, un, sin, decir, sin definir una cantidad, solo un poco, ¿no? un poco de agua. En realidad no, porque si usted quisiese decir un poco de agua, tendría que decir algo como I need a little water. A little, que es un poco. En cambio, some indica, es, es como una cantidad indefinida. Puede ser un poquito como puede ser un poco más. I need some water. Mm -hmm. María de Lourdes. Podríamos decir como, eh, yo quiero, en el segundo ejemplo, yo quiero algo de queso. Algo de queso, ajá. Uh -huh. O oh, quiero queso, simplemente. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the idea. That's the idea. Okay. Listen, I'm going to call the attendance. Ya casi se acaba la clase y hay alguien que no nos ha contestado. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Is Franklin de la O here? Franklin de la O? No, he's not here. Okay. All right. Okay, just a quick review. Just take a look, right? Countable nouns, okay? Countable nouns can be singular, like one or plural, two or more. Say car, cars, okay? You can't use the singular, like car, bottle, key, etc. alone. You need to use a or an. So we can't get into the house without a key. Uncountable nouns, okay? They include water, hair, rice, salt, plastic, money, music, tennis, etc. Now, you can't say, okay, one, two, three, etc. plus these things. You can't use numbers with uncountable nouns. No se puede utilizar números con los uncountable nouns. You don't say one water, two musics. Mm -hmm. Also, uncountable nouns have only one form. They don't have a plural form, okay? Always remember that. Uncountable nouns don't have a plural form. So you say money, the money, some money, much money, etc. But you never say, Many monies, for example. That would be incorrect. And you can't use A or N plus an uncountable nouns because A and N mean one. That's a number. So don't use it. You don't say a money. No. A music. No. A water. No, no, no. Okay. So that's the lesson. We're going to continue tomorrow. Okay. Um, acuérdense siempre de plata. 
se me cruzaron las palabras, de trabajar los ejercicios de la plataforma. Ok, eh, ya estamos en la sección número 4, esta semana 3 de 4, ¿verdad? En la semana 3 vamos a estar haciendo la sección 4. Recuerde que usted puede adelantar, no hay ningún problema y de hecho esa es la idea, que vaya adelantando. Y lo que vamos viendo, vamos viendo en la clase es un acompañamiento nada más de lo que usted ya tendría que haber visto. Así que procuremos no, no retrasarnos en el proceso, ¿verdad? Para que después, como dijeron por ahí en el grupo, no les estén haciendo mucha presión. Si no les están haciendo presión es porque supongo yo que se han puesto todos al día, ¿verdad? Y eso es algo bueno. Así que eh, no permitamos que, que se nos acumule el trabajo. ¿Ok? Everybody, uh, thank you very much and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank, thank you, tomorrow. you teacher. Teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Take care. Good night. Thank you, teacher. 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 Thank you